Walmart is about to change your shopping experience yet again thanks to new technology. The company just announced it's adding thousands of robots to its stores within That's the, the big next news for today. It's the world's largest brick and mortar retailer, Emma. Yes, Walmart says it's going to significantly ramp up the use of robots in stores and warehouses, expected to boost sales by $130 billion over the next five years. The year was 2013, and Walmart made a huge annual kickoff of its manufacturing summit in Arkansas. And they were pushing for a 10-year commitment right through to now, 2023, to purchase $250 billion of American-made goods from this country, which is a beautiful thing. But 80% of Walmart's suppliers are all located in China. Do you know that Walmart actually makes about $10 million every five hours? Do you realize they make $34,985 a minute? So how did they really do? Because they just initiated a new manufacturing summit that's running from 2023 to 2030. And what they're gonna spend on American goods in that time. You do have to realize that Walmart is the largest importer of any goods in this country. Historically speaking, on average, they bring in about 795,900 shipping containers per year. It's a retail Armageddon. It's cargo that was stuck in a traffic jam at sea during the pandemic. Well, now those ships have come in at a time when inflation is forcing consumers to cut back. Too many goods and too many stores chasing too few shoppers with too few dollars. Larger than anybody else. Target is number two. Now, you have to also remember that Walmart is also Sam's. So Walmart Incorporated, we are talking about Walmart and Sam's with the amount of products that are coming in to go to all these different stores. He estimates some stores are overstocked by more than 30%, and there's just no place to put everything. Now, here's the problem. Because Walmart takes and they use the Made in America is mostly on their grocery items in their stores. So that's what they're spending a lot of their money on in America is the products that they can buy in America as far as food products, paper products, and these type of things because this is where they're really getting parts. So let's see how Walmart is done. All right. Walmart increased imports to 770 5,400 shipping containers, a jump of 40,000 containers in just the last year. Walmart boasts about having relationships with nearly 20,000 different Chinese suppliers abroad. An estimated 2.7 million jobs have been lost due to the amount that Walmart imports from other countries. Pretty staggering, don't you think? It's a retail Armageddon. Now, Walmart actually does say that this coming year, what they are going to be doing... Doors are closing at the only two Portland Walmarts. ...is um, they started their huge initiative again. And they're pledging that over the... between 2023 20, and the year... 2030, seven years, they're going to spend $350 billion on American-made goods. So they're going to spend about $35 billion a year on buying American-made products, which mostly is, unfortunately, the food. There are some American-made products that you can find in a Walmart. And the only reason that you probably find those is because those companies have agreed to Walmart's prices because Walmart puts the price on whatever they're going to buy. The companies that sell the products don't. Walmart does because it's the largest buyer of any products out there.
period. The extra goods often end up at liquidators like Bargain Hunt, which sells items at up to 70% off retail. But this time, Norm Rankin is seeing something different. The condition of the product, it's never left the case. It didn't make it to the stores. It's not dog-eared or wrinkled or ruffled having been on a shelf. Walmart's biggest liability to date is labor cost. Now, last week I released a video and I talked about how they're going to robots and AI and everything else. And not a lot of people really watched it. I guess uh, a lot of people don't really worry about what's going to happen to Walmart or Walmart workers or anything else. Which is a shame because eventually all those people being put out of jobs, well, we're all going to be paying for it. So you might want to start to care about what is going on. In a company as large as Walmart, it can be hard to increase profit by a measurable degree, if you want to put it that way. The increasing margin on like soap won't affect the bottom line, nor will saving on normal expenses like plastic bags. What Walmart can control though is, remember this folks, it's the labor force. Tell us about these warehouse robots. Yeah, well, uh, Walmart is uh, really thinking they're going to uh, give them a real boost. So they, they are increasingly automating their, uh, their warehouses. They're uh, devoting more space in the warehouses to these uh, areas that the uh, robots can serve, uh, you know, that used to be uh, handled by, uh, you know, uh, physical workers. And uh, that's, uh, they expect to increase uh, efficiency uh, and uh, ultimately uh, fall to the bottom line. How is this different? How is this new? I thought, I thought they were already kind of going down this road long before for yeah, like they, this hoopla over AI yeah, and everything. Yeah, they no, they've they've yeah. been going down this road, and and basically they're just going to accelerate their uh, their trip down the road. <laughs> you know, they yeah. are uh, planning to uh, move up to about uh, sixty five percent of their uh, warehouse space uh, being automated by uh, fiscal 20, 2026. Walmart's biggest expense is its labor costs. Think about this: Walmart is the third largest employer in the world after the United States and the Chinese armies. Think about that. Now, if they could find some way to save money on their labor or to eliminate those jobs altogether like I talked about in my video last week. They'll do things like clean floors, unload trucks, and stock shelves so that employees, we're told, can focus on helping customers. Walmart says the robots are more efficient the company is also installing pickup towers, automated vending machines for online orders. Well, maybe it'd be a huge boom to the retailer that already brings in, what, a couple trillion dollars a year? I mean, hey, let's bring in more money. Because you see, Walmart already pays for um, their 401k. They pay up to 6% match. Um... They're paying out $900 million a year in retirement fees and the whole nine yards. All right. So what is it that is going to really break Walmart? What is the whole thing? I'm telling you, folks, the writing's on the wall. I talked about it in my video last week about how Walmart is going to be using these robots AI and any type of automation they can to replace the common worker because it's the one thing. The automated floor scrubber allows our associates once again to separate the tasks that they need. It allows our associates to start the machine and it'll scrub the floor for them. It allows our associates to unload the truck a lot faster, a lot easier. It goes through and scans our outs in our food and consumable departments, and it tells us what outs we have. And if that item is on the, what we call the top stock shelf, which is right above the home, then it tells us what needs to come down to fill the out for the that customer. That is killing them. Is there high labor costs? So, we've already seen how they have started making these changes. You go into the store, no longer is there a lane where you go up to and there's actually somebody standing there. You get to do it all yourself. This way here, they can give you more lower prices. It's not about giving you more lower prices. It's about not paying for somebody to be standing there to ring up your order 
and you actually have a conversation with or whatever and they bag it up for you boom and you're out the door those days are come and gone you see it in just about every store you go into now self checkout we gotta love it right but that's just the beginning for Walmart Walmart already owns a company a robotics company that I talked about in my video last week they already own that company they bought it this way here they had the upper hand because they're going to be putting in all of these different types of automation robots AI and everything else are going to be running their stores why no labor cost you own the company that makes all this so where's the cost no labor costs so they don't have to pay the labor costs they don't have to pay health and benefits they don't have to pay 401k benefits they don't have to pay retirement benefits why would Walmart not do this being that they have so much money in the bank because all they're really concerned about in the end is basically putting more money in their pockets and they're not worried about their employees at all and they really don't care what the consumers think because they know they have the market cornered, especially in the times that we are living in right now with high inflation. So take it to the bank, folks. You all comment below what you think. But I'm telling you right now, give it a few years. And the next thing you know, you're going to start letting people go left and right, left and right, left and right, because... You're going to walk into the store and you're going to be greeted by a little robot standing there and it's going to say, welcome to Walmart. Now let's go back to Walmart citing that performance is the reason why they're closing. We did ask them if we can have some numbers just to compare a store that has high performance to get a better understanding of what Walmart is saying to us. They say those numbers currently are not something they can share with the public and they'll follow you throughout the stores with cameras and everything else, you'll be watched. They don't need people in the store. Robots, AI, will handle it all. We'll see. The retailer admitted the robots will replace certain jobs. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. What about returns? Well, retailers don't want to advertise this, but with all those full warehouses, in many cases, customers are getting refunds, but the retailers are saying, eh, go ahead and keep the items. Don't bother returning it.